Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to 333 Motoring. We're back in the garage and we're going to be doing some rehab on some trim pieces for the E36, getting some of the interior back together. Um, I'm sure some of you, it's an old car. What are they, 25 years old? Mine's in 1998. Uh, what's that, 24 years old? So these vehicles are old, so some of these trim pieces are wearing out. So what we are working on today is this goes on the glove box or just above it and this actually goes on the glove box itself this is in actually good shape so just a little bit of armor all to freshen this one up but you can see where this one was glued or epoxied and the glue is not working or has has failed so what we're going to do is i have some 3m adhesive so I'm going to try to use that to see if that'll work uh, along with a couple of clamps but we'll go through that here in a moment but for this I'm going to sand this down and I got this texture coating to emulate the you know the similar textures that we have here on the trim and then I have this black trim paint now I've used this already on my uh, moldings on the car and actually that worked pretty well so we're going to give it a try again with the paint and see if we can rehabilitate this trim piece and then put it back in the car. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first step in the process here is we're going to hit this with 180 grit sandpaper to knock all the imperfections down. Um, 180 grit is rough enough to where it won't take us forever to sand it down, but uh, not too coarse to where it's going to take away a, too much material because at the end of the day this is plastic and it's not it's not very thick so once we get all the imperfections or the larger imperfections out with the 180 grit we're going to go on to 400 grit and then we'll be able to apply paint uh, once we're done finishing it with the 400 grit. So during this process, just take your time. Um, most of painting is all in the prep anyways, so make sure you get everything sanded down. Uh, don't be in a hurry. Just make sure you get the surface smooth and um, the consistency that you want. So then when you do paint it, the paint will hold and the texture will actually look uh, really nice. Because the worst thing you could do is sand it, spend all this time, paint it, and then have to redo it again in the first place so um, once you get done with the 400 grit uh, what you're gonna do is get some acetone or if you don't have acetone just get some simple like dish soap and water and just wet down a rag and make sure you get the surface uh, really nice and clean um, one thing I did here is I had some extra metal hangers laying around so I just cut them up into a couple pieces and you'll see here in a minute we're going to just stick them in some cardboard and build a little stand for us to paint on to make sure we can get um, all the sides and edges here. So we're going to do our texture coating first, right? I think it calls for three to five coats of this texture. I, I believe I did three coats of this and it actually came out really nice. It, it flashes very quickly, so this is not a very long process by any means. And you can see the texture here. Um, looks really nice. So then I'm going to hit it with the black trim paint. Once we hit it with this, again, the flash time is really quick. So uh, I think I did three coats of that and it came out really, really well. So next up in this rehab process is we have to reattach my glove box cover. This thing that just con consistently fell off in my car. So we just hit it with some three in uh, spray on adhesive, a couple clamps, and just let that sit for um, an hour or so before we went to go reinstall everything back on the car here tried to put some tape on but you can see how well that worked it did not so we uh scratched the tape and just did the clamps and we'll see how it turns out okay now the piece is nice and dry we're gonna go install it you can see how the texture came out really really good i'm very pleased with it this one just snaps right into place no problem you can see how it blends in with the existing texture really well um, let's take a look at the glove box 
this came out pretty good, but my glove box alignment is a little wonky, as you'll see when I close it. There's a couple gaps. Not perfect, but better than what it looked like before, just bare plastic. So this was not a very long project. This took me with dry time and everything else, just a couple hours to knock that out. And now my glove box looks as good as new, just like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. More content's on the way. Thanks for watching 333 Motoring. Catch you guys next time.